the book, The Joy of PHP, takes advantage of three technologies. That is the Apache web server, PHP itself, and a database called MySQL. When I first wrote the book, the only way that you could get this to run on your own machine was to use something called MAMP, if you had a Mac. Uh, I see it's now available for Windows as well. But, and in the book, I walk you through a product called WAMP, which installs the Windows version of Apache, MySQL, and PHP. Since the book has come out, there is a new technology now called Docker. And if you haven't heard of it, Docker is basically a solution for running software inside of containers. It's kind of like virtual machines, but not quite. So let me close this and show you that, see I have nothing running on the local host here, and same thing with uh, this port 8080. There's nothing running there either. Now with Docker, what you do is you define how containers should be made. So the way this is going to work is I'm going to make three containers. The first one is going to run Apache and PHP. The second one is going to run my SQL. And the third one is going to run a tool called PHP my admin. So first thing we want to do is get a Docker file that will run PHP and Apache. Now if you go to Docker Hub, you can do a search for PHP. And you'll see there's a whole bunch of images, but there's the official image from uh, PHP itself. And if I click on that, you'll, it'll tell you here's uh, the different variations of this Docker file that they have. And we're going to use the PHP 7 with Apache. So, so if you look here, you see there's the official repository. And here's the various tags and the respective Docker files. Uh, we want one that's a variation of PHP 7 and Apache. So there's one here, 7 Apache. If you scroll down here, you'll see this thing that'll tell you, here's how to create a Docker file in your PHP project. So from PHP colon and then the version and then which one you want, or if you want to run it with Apache, which is what we do, it's from PHP uh, 7 with Apache. And then you want to get your source files onto the server. So using the example here this is copy source so from the, this folder called source into the container and in the container it's as if it is running in a folder called var www.html so coming over here into my editor you see I created a docker file and it's just docker file with no extension and from PHP 7 Apache then because we want to use MySQL, MySQL I, MySQL I for improved. Uh, we want to run that within the PHP container, which is not normally included. We just want to run this one line here that says run Docker uh, PHP extension install, MySQL I, and then expose port 80. So that's all you need to do to define the container that's going to run PHP and Apache with the MySQL I extension. Now we also need two more machines um, and we're going to do those using something called a Docker Compose file. And what a Docker Compose file is, it's a way of saying um, here's a group of containers that go together. So um, it's version 3 and this group of of containers is going to have three services in it. It's going to have the MySQL, it's going to have the Joya PHP, and it's going to have PHP my admin. So here's where I define how MySQL works. Right here, here's how I define how the Joya PHP um, container works, and here's how the PHP my admin one works. So first one we say here is just grab the uh, MySQL 5.7 image, and I found that the same way I found um, this PHP image here with just going to hub.docker.com and searching for MySQL. And you find that and it tells you, you know, here's how to use it, blah, blah, blah. Don't worry, I figured it all out. So you just want to pass it the password and I use the password very secret and that's what's in all the source code. You can change it to anything you want, of course, something le uh, more secret than very secret. But if you do, you just have to change it in the code. Um, and one thing I discovered when you run it in um, Docker is that the table names are case sensitive. 
I did put this line in there that was supposed to make them not be case sensitive. I'm not sure that that worked or not. I just changed the source code to make them all lowercase anyway. Um, so don't worry too much about that one. So the next machine is the Joy of PHP machine. And what that's going to do is build from the Docker file in the PHP directory. So underneath this folder is the Joy of PHP folder and inside of that is the Docker file. So let me just show you how that's all set up. Uh, here's my file explorer. I basically, uh, under the folder of, of Allen, I created a folder called Docker Joya PHP. Inside of that, I made another folder called Joya PHP. I put the Docker file in there. And one level up, I put the Docker Compose file. And one level below, I made a SRC source file. And that's where I put all the source code um, inside of that, which is the file, the software that I give you guys to. So the software does come with a Docker file and it does come with a Docker Compose file and it comes with all this stuff inside. All right, but just want to explain it. In this server, I'm just going to copy from the Joya PHP source file into the HTML folder on the container. That's how the Apache server can see it. And anytime I ask for anything on port 80 on this machine, pass it to the container on port 80. You may recall over here we said expose port 80 because Apache listens on port 80. That's the default HTTP um, port. It depends on my SQL, which is this service up here, and it links to it. And the link means um, I want that server to that container to be able to talk to the other server. And now um, so container number one, container number two, container number three is something called PHP my admin. And again, um, we don't have to define any of this stuff because there's already containers made for that already. If you go to PHP my admin, you'll find plenty of containers for that as well. Um, and if you're wondering whether this is, you know, good to know or not, you'll notice it's uh, over a million. Uh, people have downloaded this container image uh, just for PHP my admin. Okay, so uh, we're going to use the PHP my admin image. We're going to name this container PHP my admin. I'm going to use that same MySQL password. And because MySQL is running on a different host or in a different container from this one, I'm just going to tell it where to look, and that is into the MySQL container and port 80 is already being used by this container so here we're going to use port 8080 on the outside but we're going to pass it to port 80 inside the container all right now let me put this down go back to my browser here you see nothing on localhost and nothing on 8080 but we're going to do the docker magic here i'm going to pull up a terminal window and on a Windows machine, it would just be a command line window. You put yourself in the folder. Remember, I called it the Docker Joy of PHP folder, and you type Docker compose up. And that starts up these containers. All the stuff will scroll by, it doesn't really matter. The important thing is now when I go to localhost, this page comes up. This is the uh, index.html file, which is right here. And it has the uh, links to the various source code. So the Sam's used car um, site here. So you can add a car to the database. You can view the existing cars. Oops, what's going on there? Uh, does the database exist? Let me just check that real quick. Create the cars database. Made the database. Now we come over here and view the cars. And boom, there they are. See how cool that is? All right, I hope that made sense. When you're all done and you want to put the containers away, you just press control C and that stops the containers and then these links don't work anymore. Oh, let me, uh, let me bring it back up just to show you also the MySQL 
sorry, the PHP my admin. Come in here. We are going to log in as root. Password very secret. And here's the cars database. with the inventory and all the good stuff that you can see in the book. Thank you, LastPass. I don't want to save it right now. Too secret.